stop right there. around the body of Conlon. Great start for Lee Wood for me. Now Conlon trying to hold his ground in the centre of the ring and switches to the south four stance. 
very accomplished in both stances throughout his career as an amateur. And a throw, good right hand from Lee Wood. Best shot of the contest so far at the halfway stage of the opening round. That was a terrific shot, right hand over the top there. As he backs up, Conlon is on him again. Conlon's a bit shocked here on his back foot. And I think he's felt the power of Lee Wood, and I think the respect's there. Yeah, absolutely. The big question mark was, how good is Michael Conlon? He showed loads of promise. Ireland's most successful amateur. But this is his real step up. He would have been tested. Looked unbelievable in his last contest against Zucan. He's trying to show Conlon that he's the boss, holding the centre of the ring. Conlon's got his foot on the outside of Lee Woods, so looking for that straight left down the body of Wood, who fights back with a right hand of his own to the body of Conlon. Conlon has had success in his career with body shots, finishing fights with body shots. He's strayed low once or twice as well and has lost points for low blows in his career so far. I'm intrigued to see the work that's done when no shots are being thrown. Lots of feints, oh, big wide left hand from Conlon. And Just he would take the sting out of it. The Conlon corner leap to their feet. from Conlon, he was looking at the body and he swooped it over right. Lee Wood did not see that coming. Great shot, let's hope he can recover in the minute rest. He threw a succession of left hands to the body in the build-up to that. He was working that opening. So into the second round, how can Lee Wood, the home favourite here, respond? We spoke about the power that Conlon had already felt for Wood. And then it was reversed with that stunning left hand at the end of the opening round. I mean, you hear it all the time in boxing, setting traps, and we see exactly that from Michael Conlon. He gave the jab to the body, the eyes to the body, then fired back with that lovely left hand. Heating up at the start of this second round. Lee Wood just needs to switch on here, just relax a little bit. He's coming out probably a little bit shell-shocked from that heavy knockdown, and he doesn't want to switch off in range of Conlon, because Conlon is straight down to work. Oh, he's right again. Same left hand. He's trying to hold on. The legs have gone, and they're still well Two minutes of the round to go. Lee Wood is desperately holding on here. Cut is a cut. Conlon is cut by the left eye. But that's the least of his concerns here as he fires away. Wood's in big, big trouble. What is in Conlon produce a sensational finish? Wood is in survival mode and he needs to do exactly that. Survive, hold on, keep out of the way. And whenever Conlon comes to him, he just needs to grab hold of him and get this round behind him because he's badly hurt. He cannot miss with. That left hand, Michael Conlon. And the Irish fans are in full voice here, urging their man to a sensational early finish. Of all the predictions, very few said Conlon early. As the blood starts to stream down the left hand side of his face. Oh! Big left hand once again. Wood this time takes it, but has to hold on again. The chin keeps coming higher than he would. He's dropping that right hand and he's open. He's that invite. left hook time and time again. Exactly that, Darren. He's inviting that shot in every time. He's not ready for it. I think he's still dazed. A combination from Conley here could be the end of this fight. Wood needs to hold on and just keep out of the way when he can. This is clinical stuff from Michael Conlon. This is the amateur pedigree, the punch picking in full flow. Yeah, this is class from Conley. Just taking his time now. He's not rushing his work. He realises this is a 12-round fight. Lee Wood seems to be... As he woke up, is he back in it? I doubt it. He needs to stay in safety mode and survival first. He needs to hit that bell. He's got to get that chin down as well. He's carrying it far too high. The 
he does survive, that cut then on his opponent's left eye could become an issue here because that blood really is beginning to stream. Cheers from the Nottingham crowd as Wood has a rare success. Still, that left hand is low. Just the great position that he get, gets himself into, Conlon, to throw that left hand. He dips the knees and fires back, but now back comes Lee Wood, backing Conlon onto the ropes. But yes. Conlon was brilliant in defence there, covered up against so much of that. Yeah, it was an outstanding amateur. He knows how to defend. Good round for Conlon there. Wood needs to just regroup in the corner. Maybe there's a bit of light at the end of the tunnel for Lee Wood, but he needs to be safety first with everything he does. He can't stand there with his chin in the air because that left looping overhand left is coming straight for that chin. Conlon having success with that punch again right at the start of this day. Third round, and at the moment, Lee Wood doesn't appear to have an answer. I think Ben Davison has told Lee Wood, you've got to get your right hand up. He's in a better position now. Sharp jab from the southpaw stance of Conlon, really finding his range so early in the contest here from so many different positions. He's picking a lovely jab to the face, Lee Wood. Whenever he throws that jab, it lands on the target. It's very effective. Just walking into a bit of a stiff jab himself there. But it's good head movement from Conlon, good footwork. He's balanced. Everything's working well for him. He's, I mean, you can see he's an outstanding amateur by the way in which he's poised in front of Lee Wood. Not making many mistakes at all. Been very impressed with his composure, Michael Conlon. I thought, you know, it's such a big moment for him that he may do things out of character, but he stayed so switched on. Not falling over his shots, so smart, but back comes Lee Wood now. I think he's recovered. Well, you so often hear the phrase from boxers that it's skills that pay the bills, but on nights like this for Lee Wood, it's about Wills paying the bills. Somehow, he's got to work his way back into it, but Conlon has success with that left hand yet again. Just targeting the body with the right hand, Lee Wood, but that left, looping left from the southpaw stance of Conlon seems to keep finding a home, and you just, you just wonder, is it a time bomb ready to, to go off? Because every time he lands on Lee Wood's chin, you just see a little shake of the legs. He looks a little bit fragile at this stage. It's just the lack of defence to that shot, Carl. He just leans back, right hand drops, and you can't miss with it. I still don't think Lee Wood's fully recovered, he's not, he's not fully back in the room. I like the way he's taunting that body because he can slow Conlon down with his body shots. It will start to have an effect. Right hook gets through, and the foot of Lee Wood, I think, slipped on the advertising logo. It looked as though he might have been hurt badly again, but once again, the left hand gets through from the champion. I think the feet came together, and he's still on Lee Wood's foot as he landed a shot, so... I think the crowd thought that Lee Wood was hurt there. I'm not sure he was, but Conlon, Conlon's got lovely range and he's, he's landing pretty much at will. And there's not too much worry coming back from Lee Wood. When he's got Conlon backed up, he rushes his work a little bit and doesn't really land anything effective. That's better from Lee Wood. Took his time there, landed a couple of shots there on the bell. Stay low, stay low. Don't put your head in the air. Stay in the this is your fight. Round four. Into the fourth round. Before the contest, Tony Bellew was talking about this being a test for not just the fighters, but for Ben Davison in Lee Wood's corner. Because the real test of a trainer comes when their fighter is behind, when their fighter is under pressure, when their fighter is in trouble. The captain of a ship is never judged by what he does when the seas are calm. He's just really struggling, sorry, Mike. Lee Wood with the speed and accuracy from Michael Conlon. He's mixing it up so well. This is better from Lee Ward when he's got Conlon backed up to the rope, but it's important he doesn't just throw for the sake of throwing his rushing stuff. He needs to pick his shot. Yeah, trying to close that gap and really force that. Physical presence at the end. That was a good right hook from Lee Wood. Conlon choosing not to move off the ropes at this stage. 
He seems to be quite comfortable on his back foot though against them ropes. As the blood reappears around that left eye of Conlon. It's a good response though from Lee, but he needed this. He needed a bit of momentum and he's got that at the start of this fourth round. Two good body shots from Michael Conlon, then the straight right, then a right hook. Lee Wood looked as if he dipped in towards one of those. Lovely crisp, sharp jabs, and then a right hook from that south pole stance of Conlon. Steps off the ropes this time, and certainly has the better of the exchanges from the centre of the ring. I don't want to speak too soon, but I feel like Lee Wood's legs are coming back now. He's, he's got a little bit of a bounce in his step, and he, he seems to be back in there. He's not on top by any stretch of the imagination, but he's, he's in this fight now. Conlon would have put a lot of work in for the last three rounds, and you know maybe he's feeling the pace a little bit. I think the consensus was that Conlon would be in front in the early stages of the contest, although, as I say, I don't think many predicted the kind of start that he produced in the opening round, but most felt he might be in front by the halfway stage of the contest. It's better for Lee Wood just rolling on the impact left cross. And yeah. Davison asked him to do that and just roll him under it instead of pulling out of his chin in the air. Yeah, he's tidied up now and recovered from those mistakes. Working well. This is what he needs to do. Close that gap. Yeah, that's good work. Three or four shots, then just close the gap, tie him up. Don't, don't drain too much energy there and just keep his weight on Conlon. I think he's a naturally bigger man in there, Leewood. If he can use that to his advantage in his early stages, that'll help him late on in this fight. Nice left to the body from Conlon. But still, the cleaner punches are being landed by Conlon, and he starts again with another one of those looping left hands, but noticeably Wood takes it this time. You can't stand in front of your opponent flat-footed and, and, and wait. You've got to be first, or you've got to be off the centre. Lee Wood guilty of standing in front of Conlon, looking at him. And as that left hand comes, I mean, if I was in this corner, I'd be going absolute mad at him, because it's not good enough. But he seemed to have taken that one quite well on the chin there, and he seemed to... Seem to cope with it. Yeah, he's got, well. he's got. I mean, he's got to move his head or move his feet. He can't be leaning back against someone like Conlon. He's got that range. He's got that speed and accuracy. And well, look at the wide legs of Conlon. That yeah. means he's setting power. He's got his wide legs. His feet are planted firmly on the ground. And when he throws that left cross, he's not a big puncher, but he's shown tonight that when he lands them crisp, clean shots, the damage can be done. Conlon switches back to the orthodox stance, just momentarily, and now back southpaw once again, the stance from which he's had so much of his success in the contest so far. Referee Steve Gray talks to them about use of the head. Lee Wood needs to stick that right glove to the bottom of his chin like Bernard Hopkins used to do late on in his, in his career, just stick it to his chin and keep it there, because if that left thrust lands, you know Wood's going to be in trouble, as we see already in this contest. Doing a better job, he's, he's very much more in this fight now, Lee Wood. There's that shot again from Conlon, and again. I'm not sure if it's the blood from Con Conlon's eye, but there seems to be a lot of blood around the eye, left eye of Lee Wood, who gets the work. Somehow trying to galvanise himself, Lee Wood, here. So much of the traffic has been going the other way. Now there is blood on the face of Lee Wood, as Darren suggested. Lee's just looking to hang on a little bit here, which shows a little bit of signs of distress. Yeah, I think there was a short right hook went in from Conlon. He felt that, Lee Wood. Some good work to the body as well from Michael Conlon. Lovely right hook to the body. Even in the atmosphere here, we could hear that right hand crunching into the left-hand side of the abdomen of Lee Wood. All of these punches gradually, one by one, having an effect. Lee Wood has moments of success and it looks like he's landing and getting a bit and then Conlon fires back and answers back and wins the argument pretty much every time here. Yes, this is difference in speed. Really, really sharp with the shots. Happy to be on the back foot and try and draw out the lead from Lee Wood. Good and short body shots. Striking there, that there wasn't the same kind of venom in the work of Lee Wood there. He was almost apprehensive about what was coming back. So can 
Conlon maintain his momentum here? Such an impressive start to the contest by the former world amateur champion, Olympic bronze medalist, and we've seen so much of that pedigree so far here this evening in Nottingham as he grabs that right hand in, in again beneath the elbow of Wood. Yeah, there's some good body work now from Conlon. He's known as being a good body shot. And he's, there's that left hook from the south force stance coming right up. And when them shots hit you in the pit of the stomach or around the solar plexus, you feel them. Big right hook. Beautifully timed on the way in as Wood aimed for the body. Now Wood tries to gain some kind of success and the crowd get behind him. They haven't had much to cheer about across this first five rounds of the contest so far. It really is a great contest. Seen so much good work from Michael Conlon, been so impressed with how accurate he's been, how quick he's been. He's been finding the shots, he started finding the range with that left hand, just telegraphing it slightly there. But Lee Woods just not had an answer as of yet. And you feel that Lee Woods dazed and still feeling the effects of that knockdown. And although he's kind of got his feet back under him, he's been hit with some good body shots. And I just feel that he's, he's laboring slightly and yeah. he needs to be on his toes, he needs to be sharp. Got to try and rough up Michael Conlon. But for that, you need energy and you need the strength up close. And Conlon's just, it just seems to be first and last with every argument at the minute. Maybe, Carl, you need belief as well that you can pull it. Oh, definitely. And that belief's probably been drained from Lee with that knockdown. I'm still being a bit of a daze. I've been hit with shots myself and hurt and put down. And you, you just go into autopilot. This is better from Lee Wood. Good shots to the body from Wood. Directly above our commentary position, we could hear them sinking in to the torso of Michael Conlon, who's taken them well so far. Riding the tackles. Not throwing the, some brilliant boxing. Not throwing the jab enough, Lee Wood, for me. He's looking for big shots. He's trying to get his feet in range and just throw big shots, body or head, and he's, he's not had enough success. I want to see Lee Wood get behind that jab and try and just pick a few shots, get some air into his lungs move around and feel like he's he's getting himself back in the fight rather than look for big shots i feel like he's pop shotting now and conlon seems to be ready for him and lee wood pulling away from the previous exchange took a huge lung full of breath he really is beginning to feel now the effects of all of these shots that he's been taking to body and to head but gamely fires back once again Great action here, working the body well, Michael Conlon coming back with a right hook and then Lee Wood firing back with a right hand of his own. Yeah, looking to get aggressive in there. Landing the head shots, Wood, but the body shots are sinking in as he lands. And maybe kind of had a round off without getting hit with a shot. Just get himself back into this, rather than have a slugfest. Well, so many have forecast that Michael Conlon would be dominant in the early stages. Not so many said how dominant. And can Wood turn it round now in this second half of the fight? Throwing that uh, right hook. Michael Conlon really, really well as he would steps in, throwing a good right hand of his own. He might have just realised he can't outbox Conlon. He might realise he's, he's, he's just not quite got the ability or maybe the speed or the, the amateur pedigree that he lacks that Conlon's so far ahead of the game in. Maybe Lee Woods realised that and he looks like he's trying to land one big shot, which he could end up just walking into shots because Conlon's quality operator. And the, the chin of Lee Wood is so high every time he steps in to range. But if, as Carl says, that Lee Wood is naturally the bigger man, will Conlon start to feel the pace at some stage? Well, Conlon's on his back foot, Wood's, Wood's trying to get forward. He's not landing enough big shots to, to think that he's going to get any kind of hold in this fight at this moment. But Conlon, you know, he's human, he looks, he looks good, but he'll start to feel the pace, he'll start to breathe, he's on his back foot, under pressure. Yeah, he's comfortable, Michael Conlon. This is where Lee Wood's got to work. He's got to hit the arms, he's got to hit the waist of Michael Conlon. They've got to try and slow him down. They all take their toll. The shots are taken on the arms, etc. Spoke about the bullish feeling in the Conlon camp all week. I was 
was speaking to his brother Jamie at the press conference on Thursday and he said that the sparring sessions that he's been putting on were a joy to watch. And that was what underpinned their strong, strong confidence in their man. Although he wins that left hand and Lee Wood for just about the first time sees it coming. They're just getting a bit wild there, Colin, for the first time. Just, just coming undone a little bit. So he needs to just keep his composure. It's been a tidy thing that Adam Booth warned him against in the corner. Yeah, it's been a tidy job for him so far. And Adam Booth obviously picked him up on that. On his back foot here up on the road, just slipping and sliding, keeping his chin out of danger, then answering battle body shots. And he would need more of this. This want to see more of. The referee will probably have a go at him here, but I like to see that because it's roughing up Colin, pushing him back, make him think about it and make him work, make him breathe. This is better from Lee Wood, just targeting the body of Michael Conlin, trying to slow the man down. It was a good left to the body, good exchanges here from both men. Yeah, some good success here from Lee Wood, but Conlin, as always does, he fires back so tenaciously in there. Slowly going down into a slump. And you've been there. How demoralising is that when you've had success and then suddenly your man fires back? Listen, you realise we're in a big fight and you've just got to dig deep, dig into them reserves, and it's how much do you want it? Lee Wood's the champion. He's now, not, he's now got to make this happen for himself. to be here, Michael Conlon, needs to get off the ropes. That's where Lee Wood wants him, so he can let the shots go. Head and body. A glimpse of Tony Bellew's scorecard showing that he's got Michael Conlon leading by four rounds at this stage as we head into the eighth round. And Lee Wood still trying to drive himself forward, clinging on to any vestige of hope of hanging on to his title. Good attitude from Lee Wood, though, really forcing himself onto Michael Conlon, backing him onto the ropes, letting a good barrage of punches go. There's some great success there, he's getting through with shots, he's landing, the crowd aren't just cheering for the sake of it. These shots are getting through from Lee Wood, this is good work. And it's good work from the South Pole Stars. I don't think Adam Booth would be happy with the amount of time that Michael Conlon's spending on the ropes. He needs to move, be elusive, that's where he's caused Lee Wood so much trouble. Firing back with quick counters, doesn't need to be doing it off the ropes. Starting to become a real physical contest, this, coming together a lot. Referees are going to have a word here and just say, look, let's tidy it up. We're coming together, we're holding on. Conlon's as much to blame as Lee Wood. Lee Wood's trying, and Conlon's, Conlon's hanging on a little bit, maybe having a bit of a round off. You know, this is a real, real quality contest, this is. Edge of the seat stuff. And for all the barbs that were traded at the various press Shot. conferences. It's huge left hand from Michael Conlon. Great respect again. from both men here. No Good. question about it, they've drawn it out of each other. Nice as Lee Wood still tries to fire back. Nice up the top from Lee Wood as he fires back there, but soaking up too many left crosses. Back from Lee Wood again, firing in defiance, putting Conlon back on the rope, trying to keep his title in front of his own crowd here in Nottingham. You can hear the noise. He's not going to let it go, he's not going to give it up. But this is tough. What a great match. And what seemed to be turning into an exhibition of Michael Conlon's skills has now transformed into a contest. Incredible action, so much bravery shown from Lee Wood, really forcing himself onto Michael Condon. This is a barrage. Quite a work from Lee Wood when he backs him up, he gets through, he's landing shots, the judges will see that and they'll score him. Brilliant right hook from Condon, but there is no question that the Irishman is taking more in these exchanges than at any stage in the contest and he's breathing more heavily than he has done before. Oh, good right hook. But by well, that from Conlon. Brilliant work again by Conlon in the centre of the ring. And it's the eye-catching shots from Conlon that will catch the judges' eyes there, which is unfortunate for Lee Wood to won. It was such a good round. And then the eye-catching shots catching him on the chin there just towards the end. So Michael Conlon told by Adam Burr that this is now a four-round fight. He's in front after eight. Can he maintain his supremacy? Two big left hands again at the start of round nine for Conlon. It's been 
a big shot for Colin all night. It's been real bad for Lee Wood, just soaking up them hooks. I mean, it's the shot that put him down early on, it's the shot that keeps finding a home through this whole contest. And Lee Wood is bouncing him off his chin now, and he's back in the fight. But Conlon, you feel, can just step on it when he wants. Said it time and time again. When he lets his shots go lead with that chin rides so high. He's got to be careful when he's letting his shots go. And he will just seem to check himself there after taking a solid left hand to the body. Starting to get picked up a little bit now. And, you know, in these, in these rounds where there's not much happening, when that jab's landing, you, you're going to lose them rounds if you don't have any success. So what needs to get the jab going or get that left, left glove up. Don't sit in front of Conlon and do nothing because you're just going to give this away. A bit of concentration in Michael Conlon. Seeing his eyes there, switched on. Extremely focused. Like you say, Cole, really picking the shots well. Shot jabs. There's that left hand again. Driving forward here almost by instinct rather than intuition here. Good body shot coming as Lee Wood came forward from Michael Conlon. To the body. Clever shot. Again, credit to Lee Wood really forcing himself onto Conlon now. Both men now flat-footed as you yeah. are in the championship rounds, round 9 through 12. Both become a bit flat-footed. Conlon just taking his time looking for the counter. And Lee just doesn't want to get careless and, and take it for granted that he can walk into range and let his hands go because as he's walking in, he'll walk into a shot. Yeah, and it's the Irish fans who've got more to sing about. Yeah, he needs to let his shots go when he gets there. Oh, there's another... Lead right hook then that found the target on the chin of Lee Wood. Took it well. Into the 10th round then, three rounds remaining for Lee Wood to claw back the deficit or to produce something very, very special. Last time on own here in the UK, of course, we saw Jordan Gill come back against Kareem Gerfi. But yes, I know these are different circumstances, different styles, different fighters, but you just never know. This is a better movement for Michael Conlon. Adam Booth would be happy with this, not staying on the ropes, moving his feet. Hot shot in, poking that jab out, trying to frustrate Lee Wood, making it difficult for him to mount an attack. Well, Ben Davidson in the corner, Lee Wood was asking for a fake, and asking for it, which is good advice. Just get that foot fake, just raise that left hand a little bit, just give Connor something to think about before you throw your attack. And that's because he's been, you know, he's been guilty of just trying to walk forward and, and try and let big shots go. And Connor's far too experienced for that, not as a pro, but his whole experience as an amateur into the pros. He's too cute to, to fall for big shots just coming straight at him. You've got to set it up. And still, as we head towards the halfway stage of round 10, that left hand of Conlon's is still proving so, so troublesome. And again, he has it flush. This is where he's got to let his hands go, Lee Wood. Done the right thing there, Michael Conlon grabbed hold. He gets him back onto the road. That's where he's got to work. Good left to the body, and again from Michael Conlon, working the body really, really well. Oh, and he's hurting to the body there. I'm sure he almost doubled over there. The elbows have come down of Lee Woods. Some good quality crisp shots here from Conlon. Come here, five back Lee Wood. Three really return giving... from Wood. Wow, great action. Just some giving Con Conlon praise for the body shots. Lee Wood lands the head shot, but he finally fires back Conlon and finishes the argument again. This is good work from Wood. Brilliant 
response from Lee Wood here in the 10th round, 40 seconds to go. Still pushing, still hoping oh, for that one. amazing turnaround. Big shots from Lee Wood. Big shots and spiteful. You see him put down his gum shield and through them shots. He knows he needs a big round. Here it comes, Lee Wood. He's picking shots nicely. Conlon on his back foot, doing a good job defensively. But Wood getting through. And believe me, these shots are hurting. They're having an effect. Best spell of the fight for Lee Wood. It's come in the closing stages of the 10th round. Incredible stuff from Lee Wood. Steve Gray talking to them both about the illegal use of the head. Both of them cut from clashes earlier on in the contest. This is attrition now at this late, late stage. Bit of close, dangerous thought you weren't there. The head from Conlon, but this is the fight game. You say Lee Wood definitely needs a stoppage. He, he can't win this on points. He's got to leave everything in the ring for these last two rounds. What can happen then to change what we think is going to be the result over the course of the final six minutes? Conlon has been in charge for so much of the contest. But Lee Wood did look strong at the end of that previous round. Lee Wood has to now not be careless, but he's got to leave it all in there. He's got to go for the knockout. He's got to try and land some big shots. Movement's crucial for Michael Conlon. He's got to stay up in the ropes. He's got to move. He's got to try and get back to the centre of the ring at least. Allow space behind him. He's getting back to heart far too often now. Nice right hand from Lee Wood. And he just looked for the straight right. And Conlon saw it coming. He just slipped under it. And that could be the difference between, you know, taking Leon to that next level of confidence. Conlon is slipping on his back foot. And he's confident. As he backs up to the ropes, it looks good for Lee Wood. But Conlon, you know, he's got one eye on, on the shots coming in. He's, he's really well poised. Here's that left hook again, straight on the chin of Lee Wood. He needs to just let big shots go, body and head, as soon as he's in range, Wood. And that's Amber, the cutman in Conlon's corner, saying you need these rounds. No time to relax is the message. Oh, body shots again. From Michael Connor, that was a lovely left to the body. Just on the waistband, then goes upstairs with the left hook. That varying of the line of attack has been so impressive from Connor throughout this contest. And we're into the second half of round 11. It's been such a draining contest for both men, they'll both be feeling the pace in there. His body shots, nice work from Wood. Yeah, he's got to throw the kitchen sink at Emily Wood. His body shots from Conlon even late on still drain that tank of any athlete. And Lee Wood's just looking a bit unshaky. He needs such a big, strong finish, and I'm not sure he's got that in the tank. The work from Conlon's just been relentless. Yeah, good work. Oh, left uppercut, followed by right to the body from Conlon. This is good work. Oh, this is brilliant from Conlon, and I thought I saw the leg shake of Lee Wood. How is he taking these shots? Half a minute to go in the 11th round and somehow Wood fires back. Reaching into the depths of his strength and his soul and somehow staying on his feet. Incredible. Lee Wood could not have done any more there. He stood in range, he took his shots and he fired back and he landed as well. He had success, but Conlon is not budging. Sport, do you find this level of courage, this level of resistance as Lee Wood fires the knockdown and scores the knockdown at the end of the round? Conlon saying he slipped, his corner are saying he slips, but Lee Wood somehow has come back to score a knockdown. Adam Booth is furious in the corner, saying it shouldn't be a knockdown. Wow. Will that single point? Decisive. That left glove landed. Have a look from this angle here. Got caught of a shot. Misses with that one, and here it comes. Oh, it was messy. It was messy, but it was. It got through. There is a shot. Well, Lee Wood needed it, that's for sure, and he got the knockdown. Oh, it's like the Carl Frost nights all over again, and noticeably during the minutes intermission while we were watching the replays, the referee went around the canvas, clearing it up with a towel. Wood is on the front foot once again. Conlon leading by a single point on Tony Bellew's card into the 12th and final round. And Steve Gray warns Lee Wood for pushing.
Yes, he was in the ascendancy. What right. a finish. The referee needs to leave it alone now. This is an absolute epic battle. Leave them to it. Let them settle it like men in there because Lee Wood has got to try and press on the big finish and Conlon is now under the plush a little bit. Yeah, incredible stuff. Lee Wood really forcing himself onto Conlon now. He needs to up the pace himself. We thought surely it couldn't happen. It did happen at the end of the 11th round, and suddenly there's a very different flavour to this contest. Two minutes to go in the 12th and final round. It was so eagerly anticipated, and he's living up to the billing as they flail away in the centre of the ring. Lee Wood is doing exactly what he needed to do, what I was asking him to do, and he's going for broke, and he's having success! Oh! It's over! Oh! It's all over! After a minute and 20 seconds of the final round, Whoa! we have seen one of the most it's astonishing true! turnarounds in a world title fight in this country. And there is great concern over on the far side of the ring about the condition of Michael Conlon, who folded so, so quickly. And others in the corner of Leewood, as you can see there, is telling the crowd to just calm down, to ease up on the celebrations, because Michael Conlon is being tended to over on the far side of the ring. And Lee Wood, who was so far behind for so much of the contest, Walking around the ring, he's trying to defuse the situation here. Suddenly, it's turned very volatile at ringside. There's a horrible atmosphere on what should be a memorable night for Lee Wood. Ben Davison, also along with Lee Wood, is just asking the crowd to just quieten down at this stage until we know exactly what the condition of Michael Conlon is. Leading on our card, going into the final round, but suddenly, under an attack from Lee Wood with just over a minute gone in the round, he folded on the ropes and fell through the ropes, and Lee Wood, somehow, from somewhere, has found the resolve to hang on to his title. That, that was one of the most incredible fights I've ever seen. That was remarkable, absolutely incredible stuff. The start from Michael Condon, so impressive. I hope he's all right. They seem concerned outside the ring there, but that, that obviously, breathtaking. And credit to Lee Wood, a fighting man. Wants to make sure that Michael Conlon will be OK before he starts his celebrations in earnest. But what a performance, what a comeback. For so much of that fight, he looked to be second best, but he just never, never gave up. Just showed the heart of a lion there, a warrior. Credit to... To, to Michael Conlon as well. I mean, he played his part there. He was cruising early on the, the, the knockdown. He was boxing so smart, so smoothly. Got into a rhythm so early. Couldn't miss with that left hand. But Lee Wood showing the champion that he is. Forced himself onto Conlon. He took a few when he was coming forward. But yeah, breathtaking stuff. Remarkable action. Lee Wood staring down, and this is one of those examples, Darren, where the fight has reminded us of just why we fell in love with this sport, but the aftermath reminding us why we have ambivalent thoughts about it. Still the paramedics attending to Michael Conlon, who for so much of the contest looked to be on his way to winning this version of the WBA featherweight title, wresting it from this man, Lee Wood. But what a finish Wood produced. So he 
eagerly awaited this contest Ladies and for so long. Here's David Diamond. Ladies and gentlemen, please clear away for Michael Conlon. Please clear the way. Please clear the way for Michael Conlon. Well, you saw the situation there from a distance. A lot of security personnel, and a lot of fans trying to get close to ringside here. Some of them concerned about Michael Conlon, others wanting to celebrate with Lee Wood on a difficult, difficult night here. Paramedics in attendance, waiting to take Michael Conlon to hospital. The kind of finish to a contest that we know is entirely possible, but that we sometimes do. The applause you hear in the background is for Michael Conlon as he is taken away from the ringside area for further treatment. He played his part in a fight that nobody who was here will remember. Very soon we will get the official time from David Diamante. And Lee Wood can celebrate this remarkable success. The story that he himself has described as fairy tale continues. But for so, so long, Darren, it didn't look like it was going his way. Well, I mean, for the majority of the, the early part of the contest, at least, Conlon was in cruise control, he couldn't miss with that left hand, he was boxing nicely, crisp counters, moving well, he was uh, navigating back to the centre of the ring and, and at times making Lee Wood look clumsy and look slow, spiteful exchanges, he was really landing shots to the body and then he started to put the foot on the gas Lee Wood, he started to try and force himself onto Michael Condon, he was having success but still getting caught and you just felt Mom! the time was running out, then there was the controversial knockdown that look there was a slip but there was a shot at the same time so the ref gave the count and going into the last round of you know look, I still had Condon up and I mean that that was a remarkable finish I just hope my thoughts and prayers are with Michael Condon and I hope he's okay and he recovers well Lee Wood being joined by family and friends at ringside and Eddie Hearn was leaning over the ropes talking to you Darren about controversy growing over on that far side of the ring. Well, he said to me there that, that the shot had hurt Conlon and Conlon was dazed and badly hurt and that's what forced him to fall out of the ring and he was gone before he hit the floor. And look, I'm assuming he was because the ref, ref waved it off straight away. I think you usually get about 15, 20 seconds to get back into the ring, but obviously Michael Conlon was in no state to be able to, to continue and he would retain his title.